Well, it was the effectiveness of the lasers. Having uh, been trained in endocrinology, uh, training hirsutism in particular, when the first lasers uh, showed up in my hands, uh, we had a significant improvement in our results. Hormonal treatments were good, but not fast enough. When lasers came around, that provided us speed and effectiveness. So basically, uh, the technology really attracted me and I stayed in the lasers ever since. We have a variety of uh, services. In the laser department, we have, of course, the standards, hair removal, uh, spider vein removal, tattoo removal. Um, we also have expanded uh, more recently into the stretch marks and scar removal. And that has provided us a, I would say, new beginning because it somehow brings us a little bit away from the standardized uh, ways of treating people and, of course, the standard treatments offered by everybody else. The Recosma technology has, in fact, proven its effectiveness and its ability to deliver on a message of help and hope that patients have. When patients come with a scar or stretch marks that could be quite severe, uh, the expectations are high. So providing a tool that will bring results, not oversold results, but at least positive results, it's important. It provides an answer. Many of those issues are important to patients, not to be considered lightly. So with the Recosma technology, we are able to find a solution. Well, the uh, two main areas of use are the scar removal or scar management uh, therapies. The scar removal is primarily for uh, hypertrophic keloid type scars or of the opposite on the hypotrophic scars, for example, acne scars or post-traumatic scars like dog bites. And that in fact gives us um, extremely positive results over two, three, four or sometimes five sessions, but at least we can significantly improve those scars. The second aspect are stretch marks. And the stretch marks are so difficult to treat after spending more than 12 years trying different methods without uh, success. I finally stumbled upon the Recosma technology two and a half years ago and frankly I have seen very good results. We are improving on the use of that technology almost every week and we are able to treat not only the mild, the moderate and the severe deeper stretch marks and that has in fact helped many patients. Over the last two and a half years stretch marks patients amount to about a little less of 200, I would say about 185. Out of those 185, more than half were moderate to severe stretch marks. Those have given us a great outcome where stretch marks are leveling off, taking the shiny aspect of the stretch mark off and removing the fine perpendicular lines that are in fact uh, specific of the signs of a stretch mark. So those for the deeper, more severe ones, we have significantly improved the, the appearance of the stretch marks. For the mild ones, the ones that are not too deep, just a discoloration of the skin, it's more difficult because there is no modification of the skin surface. So trying to improve something that is not, um, after all, abnormal, is not necessarily the, uh, uh, the best way to use the technology. I think that is, in fact, the ideal solution for the moderate or the severe ones where in fact results can be observed almost right after the first session. When patients come back for the second session or sometimes the third or the fourth, the main comment is I saw an improvement. In some rare cases where between session two and three 
we had a it's somehow not as fast as I thought it's the technology allows us to go further from the initial settings so we can adjust the treatment to in fact respond to the patient's comments which are extremely useful either it went really well or it went not as far as we thought and we can adjust so the next time we see them they come back and say well this time I saw the improvement so that's also a safe way for us to manage the settings to prevent side effects that, are, that would be too severe and at the same time adjust the treatment to provide results.